All right, so we are going to start with a brief water tutorial. We are going to, I'm going to show you my setup, how I did it, what is needed, um, so on and so forth, um, so that you can get your water going as quick as possible. Now, the first thing you are going to need to do is you're going to need to unlock everything. So for this build, what we have here is we have... You have to work all the way down this tree here. You work all the way down. You work over here to the machining table. And then you have to work down this side on the left. Okay. You're going to need uh, these steel ingots. So do not can't you know do not cancel out the fact that you're going to need the electric furnace schematics as well as the steel schematics. Okay. So if you're out and about, please do not throw those away or do not forget to loot those like I did I found them on the first day never even bothered with them and then it took me forever to find them again but I got them so you're gonna need those because you have to have the ingots to unlock the delicate parts the water storage which is very important um, and then uh, after you you know unlock the water storage you can do the drilling tool in the well you can do them first it doesn't really matter um, what's up wags how are you doing man and uh, so when you do your drilling tool, you know, you, when you unlock it, you may as well make two because you're going to need two. Uh, the drilling tool, um, you make it, you need one to unlock the well because that's a requirement to unlock the well thing is a drilling tool. But you also need one for the well, so you may as well make two. Get them making and whatnot and just get them done. After you get that done, what you're going to do is you're going to come out here outside your base anywhere it doesn't matter and place your well you kind of want it a little centralized you know i got mine a little too close to the house so now my water's range is rather limited so <clears throat> but it is what it is you know so i got my water well here and when you first unlock a well you know you drag your your things over to it and you fill them up and it gives it dirty water so i don't know about you but my well, actually, where I live, is pretty dirty. It, it's actually pretty shitty water. Um, I have to install filters and stuff like that to get my water even semi-drinkable. And even then, we still buy bottled water. And, uh, you know, we get our water from a different source. Um, we use ours mainly for showering. Uh, so after you get your well, your well pump installed, you're going to have a range now. So you're going to need to build a... Um, water storage station. Now the water storage station is very pricey. It does take a lot of materials to build this. I'm not going to lie. Literally 20 steel ingots. That's a, one of the, you know, you're going to have them unlocked. So while you're making steel ingots, you may as well make as many as you can. So do not be afraid to loot the ore blocks, the aluminum blocks, because that's how you make the steel ingot. Um, you know, just don't be afraid to, to loot them little blocks. The, as far as the big ore goes, I mean, to raise metallurgy, yes, loot it. But it's not that critical. You know, once you get your metallurgy skill up to where you can start doing working with the blocks and making ingots, just ignore the big blocks of ore. Just ignore them. You know, you, sh you should get plenty, plenty of blocks just from looting. Like, I have only rarely rarely had to mine anything to to get my uh steel ingots you know or to any of my blocks you know so i've done very little with the big blocks of ore i just use the little blocks and you know it's you can find them everywhere freaking everywhere you know aluminum and copper is you know pretty prominent in cars um there's a cave for aluminum and copper I guess I don't know. I've never been there. I didn't need. I didn't have any reason to go there. So, but you're gonna need anyway. You're gonna need twenty steel ingots, motors, uh, delicate parts, charcoal. So charcoal, you get. You should know this. Um, when you originally start to work in your metallurgy skill, you get it in a charcoal furnace just by burning logs. That's how you get your charcoal. Now don't go stingy on the charcoal. Make as much as you can because you're going to need them later. Trust me. Make as many water filters. Or you're going to make as many charcoal as you can because you're going to need them for water filters and you will burn through water filters. But honestly, it's a lot easier than boiling water every five fucking minutes. 
Rubber and plastic, not really a whole lot there, five and five. Uh, you should be able to find them literally in probably two lathes if you're out and about. Electronic components, not bad. Electric wire, not bad. Aluminum ingots, uh, you're going to need. So, And three toolboxes. Um, really the hardest part is going to be your steel ingots. That's going to be your bottleneck for the most part. Um, but once you get this installed, okay, now see how this is kind of in the middle of everything? This determines my range in which I can connect water sources to. So as of right now, I have my entire greenhouse connected to the water storage. So when I come in here to my water cultivation boxes, now I stress water cultivation boxes for the simple fact of I click this button, irrigation, it throws water on it, and boom, you are watered. Do not worry about it. You know, leave it and go. The, um... And in here, in my house, I have two showers and two sinks. Um, in my bathroom, I have two sinks side by side, two showers side by side. They never line up. Don't judge me. I don't, they just don't. You know, you come in here, you connect it to your water source, which I have labeled as my tank, because that's really what it is. You know, you connect it to your tank, and now you can safely shower, you know, and go about your business. All right? So, dude, ROs, I will push ROs to the end of my days. They are so fantastic. If anybody doesn't know how an RO system, not to get sidetracked completely, but an RO system is literally like pushing water through a membrane. It's you're taking water and you're forcing it through something that it shouldn't be forced through, and you're getting nothing but pure water. Like the filter on an RO system is so just precise that anything that comes through on the other side is 100% pure okay that's what an RO system does it's called reverse osmosis it's basically like taking water put it on one side and sweating it out the other side is is kind of what it's really doing um thanks wags i appreciate that man um so get back on topic about the water now you go over to your sinks in your sink when you build it you're going to need a water filter all right the water filters every time you drink water it takes a little bit of your durability down. Um, you can also fill your pots right from here. Uh, let's see. That's clean. So I just take my pot, put it over there, and boom. Now I'm full. And it you know, just kills your water filter element a little bit. But honestly, how hard is it to chop down a log and burn it in a fucking, you know, in a uh, charcoal uh, thing? So then you come over here. You know, I've got a whole bin of these because, let's face it, I knew I was going to need these. So why not get ahead of making them yourself, you know? And, uh, you know, that that's basically it. There's really not a whole lot to water. Um, it's really nice that you can tie it in to your gardening as well. You know, uh, the worst part about it is having to run back and forth with freaking jugs or little bottles of water all the goddamn time. I highly recommend if you're going to do that, you know, make the aluminum canteens. It really is. It just makes feeding your animals easier. So, you know, and the animals don't care if they're drinking dirty water. They don't give a shit. They're just, they just want something to drink. Um, speaking of that, I forgot to check on my animals. Uh, the list here, we've only got one fertile at the moment. Poor Frank check over here these guys these are both fertile i don't know what the hell is going on you guys need to get your shit together hank do your job and then uh you know i got i got my other one back here too um i got a couple fertiles in here i was hoping it wasn't very strict on the just two you know one of each and then they'd create a baby i was hoping that i could you know kind of leave something in here and you know things would things would pan out but eh, it doesn't seem to be working out. oh yeah I was like what the hell why can't I run back there um gardening definitely definitely recommend staggering your growths um I didn't do a very good job I planted everything on the same day so then come harvest day it all is on the same day I literally have no room for anything uh it's it's kind of ridiculous oh it looks like Looks like winter's ending. Snow. And that brings me... Uh, so there, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it, Terminal. Uh, I really 
don't know what the hell is taking so long. Um, so the greenhouse, you know, I'm going to stress this, a greenhouse, get it up as soon as you can. It is beneficial for your crops because it keeps your crops from getting destroyed by winter. Um, if you have an outside planter, an outside cultivation box, any type of outside box, and you're trying to grow it, as soon as the snow hits it, that plant is dead, you might as well shovel it off and call it a day. So the greenhouse, albeit the uh, sprinkler system doesn't work, so it's just for show, which whatever, you know, um, it, keeps it, it keeps it so you can grow plants through the winter. So where do I find the chickens? All right, man. So listen, there's two livestock vendors. There's two livestock vendors. There's one on your newbie island, I call it, uh, right by the airplane. That's one livestock vendor. And then the other one is down in the bottom left corner. So your southwest corner is your other livestock vendor. And um, I highly recommend getting that started as soon as possible just for the simple fact it is a very very slow turnaround i've probably had five crops grown in the amount of time that these guys even get to the fertile age and um don't worry about the poop either i don't know it cleans itself up i don't i don't really know it's not used for anything either i thought it'd be used for fertilizer it's, it's not so that was kind of odd um but uh it's 43 degrees in spring um yeah as far as so as far as the water goes you know definitely you want your water storage tank in a central area so that you can connect multiple things to it um your electric range is actually a lot bigger than i thought it was like my battery base is just inside that door behind a stairwell and i can reach these solar panels way out here i was not expecting to be able to build solar panels way out here and um reach my uh reach my electrical box i thought for sure i was gonna have to be way closer yeah no problem wags you know um, that's what i'm here for i'm here to help everybody out anybody out you know um anybody needs help they want me to hop in their world by all means shoot me a message on discord shoot me a message on here i, I don't care shoot me a message and say hey listen i'm having i'm really having a hard time can you give me a hand no problem not a problem at all um 